How are you today? Good, and you? Good. All right, so looking back, 2019 Cincinnati, the week before that, you reached your first Masters 1000 here in Canada. Final stay in Montreal, and we have the Spaniard Rafa Nadal looking for a fifth title here and a 35th Masters title overall up against the Russian, Daniel Medvedev, who leads the tour this year in hardcourt victories. Nadal, a couple of championship points. is the champion in Canada once more. A tough one for Medvedev. He's looked so good throughout this week. So he should be very upbeat about what he's done in the last two weeks. He moves on to Cincinnati now. To be completely honest with you, it was tough to have any expectations because I was completely exhausted. So I remember the night I came at around 3, uh, three o'clock in the morning to the hotel uh, and I was number nine seat so I didn't have a bye and I had to play the first round. Against Kyle Edmund, I was 6 4 five, three up. Already I'm telling you, like super tired, uh, almost uh, just wanted to get out of the court. He makes it 5-0. I'm like, no way, if it goes to three, I, can't, I just cannot win anymore. I just cannot run anymore. I managed to win at 7-5. Well, where did he find that next level, that ability to turn around what has been an arduous task for three weeks, but youth is a wonderful elixir. Uh, every match, uh, that's where I actually stopped celebrating my victories, but not on purpose. I was just too tired, and as soon as the last point was played all the time, I was like, yes, it's over, I won, great. Good evening, everyone. Absolutely. Two of the form players at the moment, Medvedev, who has had a spectacular few weeks. There is Novak Djokovic, the world number one, the number one seed. Every time you play him, you're under pressure. Let's call it like this. There are some matches where you go out on court, you feel like you're on top of the guy and that there is almost no chance you're going to lose this match just because you feel that you are playing better. Against Novak, it's never a possibility. You always feel under pressure every point you play. It was the same in Cincinnati. I felt uh, exhausted. He made me play long points. Well, a bit of a clinic so far from Novak Djokovic. Clean as a whistle, that set. Second set, I remember very well. I just went for it. I said, OK, I'll go for winners. I'll go for full power. A wonderful response from the Russian. I have no other choice to beat him. And everything started to go in. That was a miracle, kind of. Couldn't have won it in more impressive fashion. Gets the thumbs up from Novak. After that, you reach your second Masters 1000 now. You're playing David Goffin in the final. What's your mindset like going into the second Masters 1000 final compared yeah, to the first? I think I was pretty tight. Today is a final, and that brings the different pressures. It messes with your mind. They'll be desperate to get their hands on the trophy. It's time to get to business and settle things inside center court. Too good. And then the tie break, to be honest, I think he got just more tight than me. Oh no. David upends his own chance. Well, he was up against it anyway, but thrown in the double fault. Oh no, indeed. And then this first help, it was super hot this day, also it helped me to just, uh, you know. Uh, get it going and uh, be on top of him in the second set where he has two sets to go to try to win. I 
I remember very well I started cramping not too much but a little bit which uh, can lead to, to bigger cramps especially with me and last game he had 15.40 yeah I hit a big second serve having to save two break points here oh how's that second serve through 23 miles an hour okay just just go for it just try to hit an ace and he got it he has been the man with the hot hand the culmination of three weeks of virtual dominance on the doorstep of glory. How you like me now, says Medvedev. Finally doing it is a relief. Your 2019 Western and Southern Open men's singles champion, Daniil Medvedev. And it happens every time you win a title. The bigger the title is, the better you feel.